in this tutorial, I want to show you text styles and text properties. We cover this in the sixth class of the Newport New Shipbuilding Night School non-credit program. I give out two handouts. This is a slightly old one. Still, still good enough. Might want to screen, freeze frame and photograph or screen capture this. The second page with the exercise on it is, is this page. We'll create these three text styles using these fonts, font style, width factor, and oblique angle. We'll create these three paragraphs down here. And then we'll use the same three paragraphs. I'm sorry, three text styles, develop new paragraphs, and add in justification and line space factor. So uh, let's start a brand new drawing. Turn off the grid. I have just my usual three status bar icons on. We'll, um, we're on the... Uh, Drafting an annotation workspace ribbon, home tab, dropped, and we're doing uh, AutoCAD 2022. Drop down the annotation tab, click the text style icon here. All new drawings start with text style standard and annotative. Annotative is an advanced feature, it takes some setup, but it uh, allows you to maintain the one eighth of an inch, say, uh, text height on all your plots, regardless of the plot scale. I don't think it's catched up, caught on well. And so it's, uh, I'd say it's uh, mostly used by very large architect firms. So starting with standard, don't change anything named standard because you wanna use it as a baseline. With standard selected, click new. I'll name the first text style Dutch, beginning with it identical to standard. Click OK. We'll set for the new Dutch text style. We'll begin typing Dutch and, and uh, shoots us down to the Dutch flavors of fonts. We'll select the first one, Dutch 801 RMBT. Leave the text style as the Roman. Change the width factor to 0.9 to squeeze fewer, I'm sorry, more letters in a horizontal space. Notice the less this is, the more letters you can pack into the same space. There's 0.5, almost a little too extreme. Let's set it back to uh, point nine for the exercise. An oblique angle is the clockwise tilt, or rightward lean. Let's set that to say 10 degrees. Let's see the angle, the sample here, the letters lean to the right, just to provide a little more aesthetic. Never change anything, or never change the height away from zero for the textiles. It's a little bit more productive if you set a height. You can have all your notes text begin by default the same text height. Uh, however, it can easily be overwritten. So there's little advantage to ever using a text height. I rarely see it in uh, professional drawings. So font, style, width factor, usually lower than one. An oblique angle, click set current. Yes, I never figured out why it's asking, but click yes and close. Let's type a paragraph. This capital A without the line underneath it. Drop down and you'll see there's the A with the line under. That's the old single line style, rarely used anymore. So select the capital A without the tech, the, without the line under to do the new multi-line method of drawing text. Not new, it came out in the early 90s. We'll pick two points. Oh, and before we uh, 
pick the second point or the second margin. Let's come down here and turn off the automatic uh, columns. Let's say no columns. If you leave it dynamic, quite often it'll pop into dual columns if you add too much text to your paragraph. You know, it's frustrating. So let's set it to no columns. Specify a right margin. We'll type our, our typical paragraph for the text. Place some, let's zoom in. Text here. With the Dutch style. That's 0.125 high, period. You can click close editor here on the textural ribbon, which by the way, use as little as possible because it makes it harder to change text later if you don't remember how you changed the text. Just click in outside the text window and that'll close the text editor. Now, to change the height of this Dutch style text, select the text. And if properties hasn't come up, right click and pick properties to bring it up. I'll turn properties on and off. All right, it stays on, that's okay. By default, the text is 0.2 high. Let's change it to 0.125 as our paragraph says. Gotta blue out that. Text height, 0.125, hit enter. To match the handout, let's stretch it out. Grab one, grab the right, either one of these uh, grips on the right. We'll set it to match the handout. Notice if you reduce the, the vertical size, it will not switch into two columns like, like it would before changing the setting to, to no columns. Be on the safe side, it's always a good idea to have a little bit of white space below the paragraph, though. Hit escape to deselect our text. Now let's build two more text styles. Okay, and then, then we'll copy. Well, let's go ahead and copy this first. Now let's, we got all three are identical with the Dutch style and the same height. Let's create two more text styles and modify the two new paragraphs to use the new style. Drop down annotation, click the text style icon, start again with standard, click new, let's do say, uh, Architectural, spelled right or not. Click OK. Let's assign, say, the city blueprint font. Type CIT to shoot down the alphabet list to city blueprint. This one only has a regular style. Let's set the font or the width factor to, say, uh, I don't know, point 0.8. The oblique angle a little higher, say, to 15. Gives it a little unique handwritten appearance, which isn't used much anymore. We'll uh, click Apply and begin the last of the three textiles. Select Standard, click New. I'll name this one, say, Swiss. We'll assign it a Swiss 
um, font, specifically Swiss 721 LTBT. Okay, let's say uh, light italic style. Leave height zero, width factor. Uh, let's uh, make it say 0.9. Oblique angle, say 10. So the letters are slightly compressed and lean 10 degrees to the right. Click set current, click yes, click close. We'll change the second one to the architectural style. And while we're at it, let's change the height from 0.125 to say 0.2. Blew out the text height in the properties and type 0.2 and hit enter. Why did that not change? Point, I must have hit comma. 0.2, enter. Stretch it out so it's got the same word wrap. We'll move it by the square grip, which is its justification grip. It escaped to deselect. We're done with the second paragraph. Select the, oh, we want to change, double click. We'll want to change the wording to architectural. And change the height to point two. Click outside. Similarly with the third, select it, change it to the Swiss style, and change the text height to say uh, point 0.1, blew it out, period, one, enter. Change the margins. Oh, by the way, it's, it's, if you got intersection running O snap, even uh, alone or with several others, it's a good idea to resize by going diagonally. Otherwise, you, it's, uh, I find the uh, intersection O snap bites you. So get in the habit of sliding diagonally so the intersection O snap doesn't bite you. Okay, we got it Swiss. Got the text height. Hit escape to deselect. Now, let's modify the white space in the, between the lines and the justification. All of these are justified upper left, so the left side is straight. And as you type or add more, it goes down. Let's change them to middle center so the dead center of the paragraph remains stationary. And as you type or add more, it goes both up and down, kind of like uh, text in a wedding invitation would, would look. Okay, and this first one, we want to change the justification to middle center and the line spacing to exactly 0.8x, x meaning the, the default line spacing. So with it selected, let's change the justification property of the text to middle center. Oh, changed them both, that's okay. Hit escape. For this first one, we wanna change the line spacing change the line space factor. By the way, you can also uh, uh, change this before you begin typing. I'll show you that in a second. We'll click the text. We'll change the line space factor to 0.8. Enter. Good measure, set it to exactly. 
if you leave it at at least, which is rarely needed, that'll add a little bit more white space above lines that have a superscript in them, like H2 or, um, I don't know, say uh, 19 to the third power. The three for the exponent of the number will be slightly higher than the top of the line. So we'll add a little extra white space. Okay, hit escape. This one's already middle center justified, but we've got the line space to fix. And I've said it's a point not exactly 0 0.9. Come over here to line space factor, type 0 0.9, <coughs> enter. Slightly changes the white space of tad. This one, which uh, we changed the switch, forgot to change the narrative. Let's see, mouse slid off. What is this? I believe this is point one high. Okay. I'll select the text, change the justification from top left to middle center. I'm going to adjust the position with the uh, triangles, def defining the right and left margin. We want to change the, while it's selected, we want to change the line space factor to say you know, a little wider, 1.2, change it to exactly. Hit escape. So now that we got the three styles, Dutch, architecture, and Swiss, we got each with a different height. All three have middle center justification. And all three have slightly different line space factors. Okay, let me show you another way. It's possible to set properties before you begin typing, but it's not very intuitive. Click the capital A, pick a point before you pick the right corner, the right margin, come down here and say what height you want. Say, I don't know, point 0.4, enter. Pick your justification, middle C, MC is popular. And let's pick the line spacing to be exactly, say, 1.4. 4, just so it shows up differently, enter. Pick your right margin. Uh, change the columns to no columns. <coughs> Pick your right margin. And then we'll type, say, now is the time for everyone. Click outside. There's our text. It's a high text height, with a very wide text aligned spacing. If you change the margins wide enough, it forms a single line. By the way, double click on the text and you can change your spelling. Add words. Click outside to change. And as you add lines, if the paragraph remains centered. Again, we set a very, very high line space distance for a great deal of white space. That's about all. Oh, well, your text should be on a unique layer, probably named text.
or whatever your company standard is. Replay this if you didn't couldn't follow me. See you next video. Catch you later. Bye.